congratulations on the film. Thank you. Love, 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 love it. I said that it's an entertaining and thought-provoking look at how Dick Cheney became a dedicated and humble servant to power. Yes. You agree? Yes, very much about power. The nature of power, how it changes a man, and servant being the correct word. He, he, he likes to serve, and he is the ultimate servant. He will go to any lengths to serve uh, uh, his master, whoever that may be. Right, exactly. And um, how did you find the beating heart of Dick Cheney? I mean, how did you, how did you find this essence? Um, just through long periods dwelling on it. <laughs> really? You know, it's, it's one of the few professions where I can appear to be wasting my time completely just staring into thin air, but I'm working. That's wow. when I'm getting my best ideas. Right. Obviously, hours and hours spent just watching video clips of him, listening to interviews with him, uh, reading uh, books about and by him as well, um, and then just sitting and absorbing and uh, suddenly understanding the feeling, the mindset as, as closely as I, uh, as I could hope to. Of who the man is. You know what? A vice presents two narrative of Dick Cheney, I think. One is as a family man, a commendable one at that. Mm -hmm. Their love for their daughter, his love for Mary mm -hmm. is very commendable. Yeah. Um, and unflinching support for her when politically it was uh, not popular. Right? And now he should run now because I know it's so, you know, you have the LGBT votes, right? I think. Um, but also as a de facto leader of the free world. I mean, that is the darkest aspect of it. Right. Well, you know, with a very dark underbelly that America does have and right. always has had. Right, right. And the, the contradiction between the wonderful ideals that everyone aspires to and that everybody thinks of America with regard to, uh, compared to um, uh, some of, of the history, which is obviously uh, far from uh, um, uh, respectable. And I think a movie like Vice should be seen by both the left and the right because, I mean, we need I to... I do hope so. Well, yes. yeah, be, well, because we need to understand how we got here. Yes, yes. And right? He, he was not, of course, solely responsible, but he was certainly a very pivotal figure throughout the last few decades of American politics. He was there for all of the major events. And um, what we attempted to do was that uh, I would be completely subjective and truly try to understand and convey in a convincing way uh, uh, Cheney's uh, reasoning and his thoughts right. um, uh, in order to counter Adam as the storyteller, as the filmmaker, um, his opinions on, on Cheney, right. which are shared by many exactly. people. Yep. Um, but that to me is a far more interesting um, film than just a uh, unanimous hatchet job that exactly. has, holds no interest for me. Exactly. Yeah, I, I love it. And they'll love it because it's funny. It and you're good funny. at it. That's Adam's <laughs> unique talent that he right. can take something that is so tragic, so profound as well, so dizzying, but also he makes it really absurd and funny and entertaining too. Right. You're laughing one second, you're crying the next. He's yeah. a very unique director. Exactly. Thank you so much. Mr. Thank you. Just always see you at the Oscars. <laughs>